What's going on guys? Today's gonna be more of a personal video. You know, I always love doing these like personal vlog videos to interact with you guys. You guys get to know me a little bit more and you know, just just go see what's on my mind and the struggles I go through sometimes and stuff like that because in the end of the day, we're all human and you know, I really want you guys to know the real me. I don't really like being fake or any of that. We all go through a lot. We all been through a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, we all have our own struggles and you know, we all trying to make it somewhere, right? Uh, this is obviously my dream job. This is what I love doing. I love gaming. I love competitive. I love everything about it. But obviously it can be very frustrating when you barely see any growth on your YouTube channel, something that you've been doing for years. A lot of you guys know, we go a little bit back. I started doing YouTube when I was on TK. Uh, I think before joining FaZe, I was almost at 10K uh, subscribers, which is pretty awesome. I was doing YouTube for like three months. This was like mid go So I've been doing YouTube for uh, two years now, exactly two years. So, you know, I started doing it. I didn't really think much of it. Obviously, I wanted to see my YouTube growth grow because if I wanted to make this a dream job, you know, I saw like other people doing YouTube. I know that it's really good for you. You can obviously make money for yourself for income. And if this, like you guys understand a lot, like I'm gonna go a little bit, I guess, more in depth and more uh, personal. Me and Maria have obviously been through a lot. If you guys don't know who Maria is, she's my fiance. We've dated for two years and a half almost. And then we're engaged now for a year and like a half, about to be two months soon. Uh, like in a couple months and you know she's the love of my life and we started dating in high school we're high school sweethearts and I have nothing but love for her and you know I just want to give her everything and I want her I don't want to let <sighs> sorry I get a little emotional sometimes I don't want to let her down right in the end of the day I do this for me and her like it's not all about me you guys know I'm a very I'm a very I'm a very good kid you know I I mean I would guess a man I mean I'm, I'm about to be 22 soon but, you know, I just, I love spreading love, positive vibes. And at the end of the day, I do this for me and her. And a huge thing is I don't want to let her down. We've been through so much in our relationship, you know, with fighting, with, with the whole gaming situation. I remember one time she wanted to break up uh, because of gaming and stuff like that. And I understand how much a toll gaming can be, especially in a relationship. Especially if I'm playing hours and hours a day, you know, every time oh, she wants to go out, I can't. You know, a lot of you guys can understand, obviously the sacrifices you make when you when you game so much right I mean and anyone can see that it's very it's very it's very, it's right there so you know we we went through a lot and at first you know she didn't really I remember around MW3 you know that's when I started dating, dating her I decided to quit because there wasn't really nothing to play for and she obviously didn't like me playing too much either way because you know I was playing during uh, Modern Warfare three times even though I was really good at the game there was literally nothing to play for some people consider me one of the best players in that game and then I just quit because there was nothing to play for, like I said. So I, a huge reason I did that was for her, you know, to spend more time with her, to focus in school. Because I remember high school, senior year, I wasn't doing too well, you know, with her and gaming. I was just, like, not doing my homework. I wasn't caring too much about school. So, you know, I did that. And, you know, she, she wanted me to do it again around, I think, uh, ghost time. But, you know, I took a big step. You know, I said, listen, you got to trust me. This is what I want to do. And I wouldn't, like, even to this day, I tell her, like, I need your support. You know, I need your back, and she, like she, she's so she's a lot more supportive now. But even ghost time, like she didn't really want me to do it. She came to, she came with me to MLG Columbus, I think, which was the first. No, she came to me to Orlando. But MLG Columbus, I placed top eight. You know, it was my first event back from like Black Ops Two, like doing bad and stuff. You know, I never really placed good in Black Ops Two. I didn't really put much time into it. You know, I would just focus. We also like during Black Ops Two, I quit like two times too. So you know, we just been through a lot and. You know, I've always wanted her to have my back. I always told her, you know, we're going to be fine. You know, we obviously want to do a lot of things. We have a wedding coming up in, like, in December. That's when we plan to do it. And, you know, thanks to Placing Well Unity South Carolina and thanks to my stream and a lot of people donating and helping me out. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, we're pretty much good. I'm pretty sure once I get my check from Unity South Carolina, we're pretty much good for our wedding, which I'm really happy about. But we obviously want to move out, you know, I'm going to be 22, she's going to be 22 soon. You know, like, we want to have our own place, we want to have our privacy, we want to... And the thing is, like, living even at this house, I feel so limited. Like, I can't game at night all the time, you know, too many people are having, like, noise complaints. My mom's like, I got to go to work in the morning, you stop screaming, whatever. Literally, if I'm playing at 1 o'clock in the morning, I get non stop texts from my mom saying, stop the noise, you got to stop. She'll literally open the door, throw a pillow at me. Like, it's just very frustrating having that all the time especially when I'm trying to do my job what I'm doing when I'm trying to do what I love so moving out is definitely something we want to do maybe a month or two before our wedding that way you know when we have our wedding and we you know we go to our place and it's more nice and calm 
But you know, and obviously on top of that, in the near future, if we if we ever have a kid, I need to have be financially, um, you know, stable to pay for the kid, put food in the table. I, that's that's how that felt so wrong. Pay for the kid, but you know, like just put food on the table, support my family and stuff like that. So that's like the near future kind of thing. So in my mind, you guys gonna understand when I'm trying so hard. A lot of you guys found my recent video a little bit cringy, which I can understand. In my mind, I'm just very creative. You know, I try to be very creative. Some people don't like that because it can come out cringy. And you know, I just like to work hard. That's I literally spent like three hours doing that video. I got I got like 60 dislikes. I think I got like 400 something likes. I mean, dislike to dislike ratio isn't that bad. But obviously, having more than like 10 dislikes could be pretty bad. So a lot of you guys didn't like the video too much, and I'm sorry about that. But you know, like I said, I'm very creative. I like to work hard. You know, in my mind, uh, hard work pays off. And I feel like I understand. Like that can come out a little bit bad sometimes because it might come out too hard. Like I'm working out, I'm working, I'm trying too hard, which I completely understand. But you know, I'm just really, I'm really trying this this YouTube thing, and I love doing YouTube. I love editing. I remember when I was editing my my mini montage, I spent like three hours, you know, just like two, three hours, like two hours, just editing, putting the clips together, you know, putting the music, and I'm just there, like having a blast, like watching it, like editing it, like it's fun. Like I love doing YouTube. I love sharing my videos with you guys. Like I told you guys, I'm a very, I'm a very creative person. I love, I'm a very artistic person if you guys don't really see that side of me though you know i used to draw all the time i love music i just love everything about art like art's my type of thing but at the end of the day you know i do this for me and maria and i just want to succeed on youtube because this is what i love to do you guys have been following me like i said during aw times you guys know that the pat like for half a year aw you know it wasn't going too bad the next half completely shit the bed you know I choked placing like top eight of champs completely choked at events I mean, it was just a shit show for me, and you know, I decided to go down Black Ops 3, work my ass off, I play every day, hours, hours, and hours, I put so much time, I mean, I've been playing insanely good, almost every single map, I'm on top, I'm just destroying, I'm doing crazy plays, and that's just because of the amount of time I put into the game, and on top of that, this, that's just because of the heart and how driven I am to succeed in this game. Like, you guys don't understand how, how driven and how motivated I am to, uh, to place good, to win, so, you know, I've never been, like, after after all this shit that's happened to me, you know, it just motivates me more and more and more. Usually, it demoralizes me, demoralizes a lot of people. Sometimes, it might demoralize me for an hour, for a day, but guess what? The next day, I wake up, I put my feet on the ground, I said, I'm ready, let's go. And I, and I start my day, and I keep it going, and I fucking get on my PS4, I get on with my team, and I scrim, and I go hard. And I just learn, we, we fix our mistakes, and it's just the same thing every single day. And the whole point in the end of the day is, you know, you got to be driven. You got to be motivated. You got to want it. If, if, you know, we're all going to fail. I failed so many times. And, you know, I'm just so driven now. A lot of you guys know I'm 21 years old. I turned 22 in April, so in like two months. Um, you know, I'm not saying this is going to be the end of my career. I'm probably going to game till like I'm 23. Maybe, to, maybe next game might be my last game, to be honest. If not, maybe one more after that, depending how well I'm doing. But, um, you know, I'm not going to game forever. But I definitely want to still keep this going. So, because this is what I love to do. You know, streaming and doing YouTube. Once I'm quick, once I quit competitive, if, if my YouTube and streaming is good, big enough, you know, I could do that. You know, I still could do what I love. You know, just playing, you know, just streaming, do my YouTube channel, you know, just interact with you guys. All the people that supported me since day one. And I really hope to, you know, build that relationship, build my YouTube up, build my stream up over time. I'm not going to stop working. You know, I'm going to work every day until that last day where I have to quit. But I really hope it doesn't get to that. I really hope that I could make something out of this. And, you know, I have like, it's just, it's not like, I don't really care too much about my family things. Like, obviously, uh, my, my family isn't the wealthiest. And I wish like in the near future, I could be, I could get bigger and I could support them, you know. Uh, I, a lot of you guys know, like, Faze Rain. Um, he, like, supported his mom when he started getting big on YouTube. You, you know, she didn't have to work and stuff like that. You know, I want to do something like that. I want to support my family. Uh, I don't want to go too much in details because that now we're getting too personal. But, you know, there's a lot of issues with money and stuff like that. And, I, I mean, I don't. it's going to get very personal. So, I don't want to talk about those things. But, you know, I would love to do something like that with my family. And, you know, shout out to Doug. Doug hit 1 million subscribers. It's fucking crazy. He's, he's been working his ass off, you know. And I'm so happy for him, man. I consider him a good-ass friend. You guys know that we've been through a lot. We won championships. You know, we, we've been through so much, like, bullshit and just 
you know, failures and, su and, and success. And I'm just so glad he could finally hit 1 million. You know, he's doing what is love and I'm just so happy for my man. But you know, guys, like today my life changes. You know, I'm, 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 I'm even more driven than ever. Like I, I was driven already, but I mean, I'm gonna keep going and I, I'm gonna keep trying to grow my YouTube channel. You know, I'm gonna post some different stuff. I'm gonna start trying to be more, more me and stop trying too hard and really like, I don't know, maybe some more tip videos and stuff like that and help you guys out because I feel like that's what you guys love a lot about me. You know, helping you guys out, especially the amateur players or players that need help and work, whether it's in their shot and their skills and their strats, whatever it is. In the end of the day, I do this for me and Maria and 100%. I would tell her that we, will, we got this, we will do this. Every day I tell her that. No, not every day, okay? Now I'm bullshitting, but I tell her that often. So either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for anyone who stuck through the whole thing. Uh, you don't have to leave a like if you want to that's awesome and you know you can you know I just really appreciate you guys and hope you all have a good day. I'm out. Peace